Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness' trailer is a cryptic freak show that continues to tease new clues to this movie's mystery plot and the way it's gonna bridge the MCU multiverse together, and even more overlooked details have emerged from this footage that we must discuss, simultaneously extending this film's horizons to the sorcery of WandaVision and the timeline insanity of Loki, and from all this we may now understand Strange's relationship with Wanda Maximoff and with his goth table. Self. And for my preliminary analysis of this Multiverse of Madness trailer, be sure to check out my No Way Home post credit scene video and the follow-up breakdown of the trailer when it dropped on YouTube. If I don't talk about something in this video, it's because I already covered it in one of those. Okay, the first new detail to emerge was the shot of Wanda early in the trailer conjuring red chaos magic in her palm, but in the background, there is a glowing orange shape that looks a lot like a time door of the Time Variance Authority from Loki. Remember, the TVA was actually created to do the bidding of He Who Remains, a variant of Kang, in his vast plan to prove the timeline so that it all goes according to the script that he composed for it, probably a script that best serves himself and his council of Kangs, one of whom takes his place as a more public face of the TBA in the season finale. If this is a time door for the TBA to cross over in a multiverse of madness is both perfect, but also a bit surprising. Sam Raimi's imagery for this film steers more into supernatural horror than to the retro Douglas adams and sci-fi production design of Loki. That series' relationship with magic was limited, setting the TVA in a kind of no magic zone. But if you think about it, in order for that magic neutralization to function, there must also be some even more powerful magic that fuels the TVA. Kind of like Wanda and Agatha's no magic runes that they used as boundaries in WandaVision. This anti-magic magic could come from Kang himself, a kind of magic we have yet to learn about. Could be an MCU version of chronal energy, which in the comics was the energy that the timekeepers were constructed to be batteries of, and stems from the countless variances to the time stream by the infinite number of Kangs meddling within it. Now, I know I sound obsessive right now, but it's because if I ever like miss a detail or get a theory wrong, I start pulling my hair out, which is totally the wrong way to go because some guys just lose their hair naturally. It's super stressful for the guys I know going through it. It's one of those parts of aging that can make you feel older when you realize your coworker was born when you were in high school. Two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35, but with Keeps, you can get quality expert care without ever visiting a doctor's office or pharmacy. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA-approved hair loss products out there, but at half the cost of your local pharmacy. Though you never have to go to a doctor's office, Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality. Easily subscribe to Keeps and get refill reminders so you'll never run low on the products you need to take care of your hair. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash new rockstars or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash new rock stars. But between the Time Lords of Loki and the sorcery conjurers of Doctor Strange and WandaVision, we're really left with some unanswered questions about the exact power hierarchy of these figures in the MCU. Like, does Kang supersede the Sorcerer Supreme or the Ancient One? How do the Watcher or the Celestials fit into this? I think this film could finally start to give us some answers on that. I like to imagine all these baldies have a seat at a cosmic table as checks and balances for each other, gossiping about each other, while others are like, what did you say about me? And then Kang's like, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, a time door in this movie could mean a cameo by Loki or Sylvie, Mobius, B-15, Renslayer, hell, anyone from that corner of the cosmos. Or a cameo by Jonathan Majors as another Kang variant. Like, Majors is scheduled to return in Quantumania, but if we are looking at the MCU's multiverse collision crisis in this movie, the way Loki and Sylvie left things in the Citadel, or we should say the way this Kang variant manipulated them to destabilize the multiverse so a more hostile variant could take charge, perfectly corresponds to the crisis of this film. We're just seeing it from Doctor Strange's front of this war, where the chaos takes a darker, more slithering -y form. We just have yet to see if this madness is something Kang caused and premeditated, or, as I believe, it was an inevitable absolute point, the end result of Strange's various manipulations of time and reality over the years, and people like Kang saw that coming and jumped on this opportunity to strike. Whether or not this even is a time door, one undeniable Easter egg that you might have missed from this trailer comes in this shot of Strange conjuring 
Burning Bread sorcery in that alternate sanctum where he later faces a darker variant of himself. And if you look closely at Strange's feet, he is conjuring those red orbs from the Darkhold or from a Darkhold. Remember, the Darkhold is Marvel's Book of the Damned that first appeared in WandaVision, first in Agatha's possession, from which she read those runes that the Scarlet Witch's powers were destined to surpass those of the Sorcerer Supreme, technically Wong at the moment. And this book ended that series in Wanda's possession as she used it to search the multiverse for a reality with her sons in it. So in this trailer, when Doctor Strange says that he doesn't care about Westview, it's not a meta line saying the events of WandaVision won't matter to this film, because the fact that Wanda ended that arc with the Darkhold is going to be hugely important. That is probably why Strange is coming to Wanda in this moment. So what is Strange now doing here with the Darkhold? Well, those red orbs tethered together, we call the red orbs that orbited Wanda in her astral form in that final scene, each one possibly representing a different world within the multiverse. But here, as the orbs spread out, the one in the lower left corner seems to be dividing into another world, like cells undergoing cellular mitosis. So now the Darkhold could be Strange's one way of getting a bird's eye view of the multiverse and investigating what caused its rapid expansion. In addition to the sanctum being the place that he meets his darker self, this may also be the sanctum that Strange ascends the stairs of, because notice how in that opening shot, the staircase railings are different than the ones we've seen before. There are also new statues flanking the base of the steps, and a new chandelier hangs over the doorway. So this is not Strange's New York sanctum that we've seen in No Way Home. This is an alternate reality sanctum. And in addition to the wall on the right being blown open to a stormy beach, you can also see a vast opening to the outdoors on the left. This whole sanctum is strewn on the shore like a shipwreck. So did Wanda give Strange the dark hold, Or did he take it by force? Or did he just totally fail? Because we never see the two of them together other than their chat in that orchard. And even that ends with Wanda's aggressive the you say? To Strange when he brought up the multiverse. Otherwise, this whole trailer is just that shot of her firing up her palm cannons, Kamar Taj coming under attack, and then Scarlet Witch conducting her seance. And if you look closely at that floor, this is totally the Kamar Taj courtyard. The pattern on the floor is the same as the other shots we see of that battle in this location. It could be Wanda behind those attacks on Kamar Taj as she usurps power there, defacing these sacred grounds with her creepy Serenity by Jan collection. Now we put it out how Wanda's fingertips are black here, like Agatha's fingers became when she used dark magic against Wanda in that final episode, and in this case, a sign that dark forces have also overtaken Wanda. Now, we should also note that her Scarlet Witch wardrobe has evolved from when we last saw it in WandaVision. Her arms and shoulders are now fully covered, and her chest now has an inky black V section. So I think we are now seeing a conqueror Scarlet Witch refusing to let Strange take the book that she feels she earned rightly. And and that could be what leads Doctor Strange to this alternate sanctum in another reality in which his goth table doppelganger in this universe collects the most evil antiquities he can get his hands on, including this version of the Darkhold, a Darkhold of this reality, which Strange needs to track Wanda across the multiverse. You can support New Rockstars by checking out our merch options at NewRockstarsMerch.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. Follow New Rockstars. Subscribe to New Rockstars for more analysis of everything you love. Thanks for watching, for always watching our goddess Scarlet Witch.